everybody, I'm Gustomato. How you doing? Welcome to the top five guns in Destiny. This video has been is gonna be a little bit choppy. I'm sorry I'm still not used to editing really big videos like this. But anyway, let's get on with it. I have two rules for this list. One, how the gun looks, and two, how well it performs in the crucible, PvP, or PvE. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on it. First up, we have the Monte Carlo. I like this gun because it has some pretty decent perks. It's somewhere near the best gun, best looking gun at least, but it does have a unique little bladey thing on it. Now, in PvP, it is really good. It has an amazing auto fire rate and it does decent damage for what it does. It's nothing too seriously powerful, but I honestly think that with the right hands, this gun is amazingly, is does amazing in anyone's hands. But with an experienced hand, this gun goes from a gun that's good to a gun that can practically demolish an entire team in seconds. I've seen some people use this gun before who knew how to do it, and they stopped me and my entire team. It was just one guy. Like, no joke. So, I'm gonna go ahead and give this thing a strong recommendation for any auto rifle user. Get it, love it, you'll find so much amazement in firing and just playing around and messing with this gun. It is by far one of the most useful auto rifles I've yet to play with, and I'm just now already scratching the surface. Anyway, coming up next we have the Still Piercer. Now, the design, I like what it's going for. It's got a pretty good swampy kind of feel to it. I know the Time and Patience and a few other sniper rifles have done the same thing, but I just think the Still Piercer does it perfectly. It's a hunter exclusive sniper rifle that just captures what like a normal sniper rifle would be like. Gives you that feeling of an average sniper rifle that does amazingly powerful. As for combat usage, it's a basic auto rifle. It's a basic sniper rifle, not an auto rifle, a sniper. Now, it does have some trouble like the scope. It does not show the radar, which is something I would like to see. But other than that, this is a pretty decent sniper rifle, and I always think any hunter should go ahead and get it. It is worth every drop of time for that little quest you have to do for it. Now, next up, we have a rocket launcher, only known as Truth. Truth is OP'd. It is an amazing rocket launcher. Design quality, eh, it, it could use some improvements in my opinion, but it is still unique. It reminds me of something you'd see in like the Halo games, and wow, Halo and Bungie, hmm, pretty, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this, but I just need to say that the design aspects of Truth aren't that good, but it makes up for in utility and versatility. It can track enemies and practically detonates on going close to them. It is so useful for when you're trying to take out someone who's running around, especially if you target them and they think they're safe. Now, next up we have the Midna Multi-Tool. The one and only, the gun that kills you the most in the Crucible. Design aspects, it's a little gray for my taste. I like more colorful looking guns, but then again, a realistic style of mid to multi tool more than is okay for me, especially for how well it performs. It fires on a hair trigger and, and keeps your radar up. It's nowhere near the most beautiful gun, but then again, there's, who says beauty has to be in looks? This gun obviously is useful. I mean, just look at that. I killed that guy looking down the scope with my radar still up. I understand it might be a little bit too OP, but I still think it's one of the best guns. I highly recommend it. Now, as for the Red Death, the number one, this gun is always my favorite when it comes to picking out guns. It looks so cool! I mean, just, it has blood all over it, a knife sticking out of it, ready to destroy anyone. And its perk is by far so useful in anything. It is a 
great, amazing gun that, if you don't know it by now, you probably have seen some old guy talk about it. By old guy, I mean old Destiny player. You already know that killing someone with this instantly starts your regen and speeds your reload. Now, it doesn't do the... Now, it does sometimes fail on you in the event if you only get an assist, but... I still highly recommend this gun. It is still... I love using it. Ooh, that gun's beautiful. But anyway, guys, that is my top five guns I love the most in Destiny. Why don't you leave your top, your most favorite gun in the comments below? I would love to hear what gun you think is the best and what gun you really, really like to use. Now, speaking of a few videos, things Destiny Week is not over, guys. There's still Sunday left, and I know on Friday I wasn't able to upload the. Um, the solo fall, uh, nightfall strike that is because there was an error in editing requiring me to go back a little bit and temper things it's a little bit uh, touchy touchy right now but I should have the video almost prepared so it'll be a little bit outdated I'll mention like the future coming of this video so don't worry it's just because something in editing failed so on Sunday tomorrow, in the morning, I'm going to release a Challenge of Elder Solo, part two, the final part, where I truly kick their booty holes and do other things related to killing lots of enemies. And in that later afternoon, I'm going to go ahead and upload the Solo Nightfall Strike, the final cherry on top. If you like this video, please ram that like button. If you have a comment about your favorite gun, leave it. Put the comment in the box. And if you're like me and you want to hail our Lord and Savior, Mr. Sonny, please jam that subscribe button with a million fists and one big happy smile. See y'all next time.